Hey guys, this is Matt. You can call me coach. I sure appreciate you being with me here today. This video this week is the third of a three-part series that I've brought to you about recreation, inspiration, and this week's final episode is dedication and commitment. If you have ever been a good parent and raised a child or children to be successful adults, if you've ever started and successfully run your own business or deep inside been the best short or long-term employee at the place of employment, then you know that unmistakable feeling of dedication and commitment. If you're a person of faith, and you are dedicated to the faith that you've chosen over the years, over the decades, dedication and commitment. If you have a hobby or a catharsis of some kind that you've gone on and, and been a part of for decades, then you know that dedication and commitment. Often on a day-to-day -day basis, it goes unnoticed and forgotten by those around us, children, bosses, customers, and yes, even ourselves, but there is something kind of untangible and, and tangible at the same time about this unspoken ability to always be there at the call, to stay the course and see things through on a long-term basis. You do a task well and how it always shows in a finished product regularly. The type of person that can be always relied upon you probably know at least one person like this. That person that always shows up, who always completes the task given them and does it well, who as a parent always attends the kids' games and activities and is always, always there for a friend in need and can be counted on as a friend. I think you get the picture. Well, I hope who I'm talking to right now is that kind of a person, or at the very minimum has the pure potential of being one. When it comes to dedication and commitment as a homeowner, it is usually a long-term trait that shows by how your home and landscape present themselves. Do you agree? If you are considering a landscape makeover and plan to do things yourself, and this is not your type of endeavor, it will take a pretty big gut check to see it through. I'm not talking about planting some annuals in a corner somewhere. I'm speaking to the complete tear out and rebuild or a brand new yard from scratch. My experience and some teachings I have done has showed the following. I always suggest starting with a smaller project or two. Complete those projects, complete them well. Gain the confidence and then, then dive into a yard makeover. Don't do it the first time. It sometimes will really put you off the first time something doesn't come out right. A small project like a container garden, a raised veggie bed, new irrigation timer put in, uh, maybe some small lighting project. So now if you are on the eve of launching that front or backyard project, after you've done these little ones, your first have at it moment is just about to occur, stop, please, stop. Let's double check a few things first. Number one, that we have a plan or a conceptual design, basically a roadmap on paper in place. Check a budget so that you stay within your means and your bounds of this project. Very important. As a contractor, I had to be very specific with people as far as what they wanted and what they needed and the budget that they were comfortable with and that I was comfortable with. So budgetary, budgetary plan is definitely a part of a large landscape project. How about tools? Do you have the tools that are necessary or do you have access to the tools that are necessary for demolition and trenching and digging and planting and 
ripping out concrete if that's if that's your case these are extremely important to have on hand or have ready access to before you start especially not the night before and you're still looking for them have them in place and ready to go this all goes to dedication and commitment and lastly certainly not the least is how about some help are you planning on doing this endeavor all by yourself from start to finish or can you garner some family and friends and come in and help you with it? Help really makes the job a lot lighter. All of these checkoffs are precursors to a successful project. It shows your dedication to a smooth path to success and a commitment to seeing the project to completion through serious eyes, not weekend warrior eyes, but serious eyes that really will pay off in the end. Much like those folks mentioned earlier, you are one of those few individuals that can see a project from start to finish, who can source the materials needed and get them to the site, who can garner help when needed and know when he or she can go it alone for some of the parts of the project. Recognize your limits, both mental and physical. Watch those limits expand tremendously as your confidence and experience grow and sit back when the project is done and watch your friends and family say wait what you did this yourself really then look for the next challenge in life that you want to conquer and that you want to tackle almost all new landscape projects look good when they're brand spanking new even the worst of them the true test is a few years down the road and what it looks like and how the infrastructure is holding up, like irrigation and lighting and concrete, water features, etc. How the maturing plant material that you put in is melding together and showing thought in layout, mature spacing, and daily, weekly, or monthly care. You got this, guys. You got it. Just a little bit of dedication and commitment goes a long ways. Continue to be one of those dedicated and committed individuals despite outside influence. Be the best parent, employer, employee, and homeowner you can be. You'll find what good time management comes from being a person like this and compared to some of the others around you how productive your day or days really are, and how much free time you earn for yourself by getting in and getting things done and not putting them off and procrastinating. Then, kicking back, relaxing, enjoying the yard, family, and hobbies that you like to do because you got the other stuff out of the way. I'm not saying you have to be an over-the-top OCD addict. That is the extreme end, and that is not needed here. Just a well thought out planner of projects, a care minded homeowner, and a good example for family and friends. A warning though, I speak from personal experience when I tell you this, be aware of those folks who like to sabotage those dedicated and committed individuals, both at home and in the workplace. You know who they are. The people even close to you that will try and dissuade you from focusing and completing by offering their uninvited opinions, criticisms, thoughts, and alternatives to getting the job done. Dedication and commitment is what gets projects done through fact gathering, budget compilation, assistance when called for, and a daily punch list. Good luck on your projects and let me know how they turn out. Email me if you have questions and send me the pics as the project unfolds. I love seeing DIYers getting busy. I really, really do. And I'm proud to be associated with those folks. That self-reliance and that dedication and commitment to saving yourself a few dollars and learning a new skill is just is just paramount to this channel, it really is. As always, I'm Matt, you can call me coach. I hope you've garnered some value from these three videos. If you have not seen recreation and inspiration, check them out right here. Please check out some of my other videos. They are loaded, value-packed landscape tips and tricks. I come to you every Friday with a new landscape video, a new plant of the week, 
and also product of the month. So, hey, if you've got some value out of this, I appreciated your attendance, watching it all the way through. Give me a thumbs up. Hey, maybe share it with a family or a friend that's starting a project. Maybe they need a little, a little boost, you know? Send them my way. I'll really, I'll really appreciate that. Anyway, until next Friday, guys, I'm Coach. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you then. You take care.